Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to downgrade from iOS 16 to iOS 15 or you can use this method to downgrade to iOS 14 as well. Please note that you will need your saved blobs for either iOS 14 or iOS 15 and this method will work on all A11 and lower devices. You have to note that this will not work on iPhone 10 but it will work on iPhone 8, 8 plus or any lower iPads or any other devices that support iOS 16 as the latest version. The method shown in this video is completely free along with all the apps that I will showcase. So here you can see what we will do in this video. So first we will downgrade our device from iOS 16 to iOS 15. Then we will jailbreak it with Pedrin with fakefs and then we'll boot the fakefs then we will fix the unable to activate error this is the error you are seeing on your screen that you get when you try to downgrade your device from ios 16 to 15 and then you try to activate it but you see this unable to activate error but in this video we will also fix it and you will be able to use your ios that you downgraded normally also please note that this video is for educational purposes only so please be responsible so first of all what you will do is open itunes and connect your i device via usb and then you will see this model identifier just keep tapping on it until you see ecid so please copy it and paste it somewhere because we will be needing in the next steps also guys i will link everything required in a test file in the description or in the pinned comment now let's move to linux and first of all downgrade this device all right so guys we are on linux and now we will first of all downgrade our device from ios 16 to ios 15. so in my case i have the saved blocks for ios 15.5 beta 4. i have the latest version of future restore I have Gaster for Linux and I have the IPSW for the version I want to downgrade to. So in my case 15.5 beta 4, you will get all the links for the required files again in a text file in the description or in the pinned command. Again everything shown in this video is completely free for everybody. So first of all we will get future restore. So open the official link for future restore and get it for linux from here you will get the zip file extracted and you will get the binary for future restore all right next we will get the blob so you can get your save blobs from tss server or if they are not found here you can also check sh sh host all right so i will simply get my ecid that i have saved in previous step that i have shown you and i will first of all check tss server so simply paste the id here and you can see that i have got all the blobs for the version saved here but I want to downgrade to iOS 15.5 beta 4. It is not found here. So I will check on SH, SH host. Open it. All right. So now simply click find my and then simply paste the ECID here and list AP tickets. So as you can see here, I found the blob for my device for 15.5 beta 4. So I will uh, simply download it from here and you can see we have this here all right now so please note that you will get only the blobs that you have saved when those versions were signed if you see any 404 error in tss saver this means that you don't have any saved blobs all right so now we will get the ipsw for the firmware we want to downgrade to so simply we will open the ipsw.me and then we will select our device so for me 
it is an iPhone 8 plus global and then simply scroll down and simply get the version you want to downgrade to and it's IPSW just hit it and then scroll down and get it from here also if you are unsure about your device model or anything you can simply hit identify my device then scroll down and simply type the model number here by checking it at the back of your device and then identify my device and you can check that which device you have now guys at this point get your iphone or your ipad into dfu mode all right so i will be getting it into dfu and then we will run caster all right so my device is now in dfu you can simply google it on how to get your device into dfu mode by simply just typing its model and all so now simply open a new terminal here and then make sure that you have the gaster binary here where you open the new terminal now type here sudo dot slash gaster pwn enter and then type in your linux password and you will see that now you can boot untrusted images so now we are good to go with future restore now simply close it and then open a new terminal again let me make it a bit bigger for you so now sudo dot slash future restore hyphen t so let me always on top all right so now drag the blob here and then type latest sep hyphen hyphen latest baseband hyphen hyphen use pawn dfu hyphen hyphen set nonce and then simply drag the ipsw here all right now simply press enter type in the password if you have one and then just wait and get it working all right so now at this point you will get the error first like this unable to send ibss component unable to upload data to device please do not panic press up arrow and simply rerun this command enter all right and if you get the segmentation fault again don't worry go to file system here and go to temp and here simply delete the future restore folder and delete any dot json files all right once done now again simply up arrow and rerun the command now the segmentation error will be fixed again it will download the files so please be patient all right so this time the error will be fixed and your device nonce will be set as you can see it right here so you can see no errors whatsoever and the nonce is now set and my device is now in recovery mode all right now simply hit up arrow and now just remove set nonce and use pawn dfu from this command all right and now simply press enter you may again get the segmentation fault error so now again go to file system then go to temp and simply remove future restore folder and the json files if you have now again hit up arrow press enter and this time the downgrade or the restore will start it will again get the sap baseband and the sc firmware files so please wait here until it is complete also at this point please make sure that you have ample amount of free space so you can see i have about 49.9 gb of uh, free space here on my pc 
on this drive so now the process of sending the restore ram disk and the restore process will start you can see no errors whatsoever and you will see the progress bar on your device now in a few seconds all right so guys you can see that it has started to send the file system now and if you see this FDR error please ignore it and let it complete you will see unable to receive message from FDR so again simply ignore it and guys one more thing if you get the error that it says unable to get your device into restore mode what you will do is open a new terminal window and then type this command sudo system ctl space stop usb max d and then type your password then sudo usb max d hyphen p hyphen f and leave the second uh, window open all right and then simply press the up arrow and then simply rerun the restore command and the error that says unable to get your device into restore mode will be fixed and the restore will start all right guys as you can see restore succeeded and now my device is downgraded to ios 15 successfully now guys if you try to activate your device that you have downgraded to ios 15 or 14 in my case it is downgraded to ios 15 now if i try to activate it i will get this unable to activate error and now we will fix it at this point we will jailbreak our device with palerin with the fake fs and then we will boot it so simply head to the official website for palerin palerin is also completely free then hit downloads and you will see the latest beta or the latest version scroll down and hit on assets and then you will see the version for linux so please get this one Palerin linux x86 64 one all right now at this point get your device into dfu mode manually all right so let me get it into dfu now all right guys now my device is in dfu mode so simply open a new terminal here let me make it a bit bigger for you all right now type here sudo chmod plus x then drag the binary in and press enter and type in your password if you have one now sudo space drag the binary in now hyphen f hyphen c all right press enter and the process for jailbreaking will start so booting pongo os and now the fake fs will be created this can take about 10 minutes so if you are stuck here you can simply control c all right and wait for the fake fs to complete all right guys when the fake fs is done again get your device into dfu mode manually all right so let me get it into dfu now all right so now my device is in now dfu mode press up arrow and now simply remove hyphen c let it with the hyphen f all right press enter and the process will start and this will boot the fake fs and this will now jailbreak your device so please wait for this process to complete and then you will be back on the setup screen okay just leave it there and now we will fix the unable to activate error and now we will boot back to windows and then use an app to fix the unable to activate error i will show you in a second all right guys as you can see i am back to windows and now if i still try to activate my device i am still seeing this error let me show you that all right so i am still seeing the unable to activate error now let's fix it now to fix this error we will use this app you will get all the links in a text file in the description all right so for this to work you'll have to install 
this runtime again the link will be in the text file now let's extract it open and now simply run it as an administrator now guys at this point please don't panic because here you are not seeing your device being detected don't worry just connect it and now hit i skip activation Now keep your device in normal mode and you can see the process is ongoing. Your device will respring and you will see this message device has been activated. Just hit OK and now let's try to activate our device and now this time it will go past the screen for the unable to activate error. Now simply set your device up like you normally do and like so we are in and you can see that the version you can again see this message because I am on iOS 15.5 beta 4 so let me show you the version now so as you can see i am on ios 15.5 and it is indeed ios 15.5 beta 4 you can check out the serial number and everything and you can match it with the start of the video to make sure that it is the same device i am using right now also guys keep in mind that this is not untethered it is tethered meaning now if you, i restart my device it will again get stuck at the unable to activate all right so what i will do is simply boot the fake fs by using this command sudo pailrain hyphen f not hyphen c or hyphen f simply single hyphen f you can also use pailnix to simply boot the fake fs and then your device will go straight into the home screen without using i skip or any other app yes guys one more thing you can jailbreak your device that you have downgraded to ios 15 with the parent jailbreak as you can see i have done it right here so now we will quickly see the version and then we will end this video so you can see ios 15.5 and again it is indeed ios 15.5 beta 4 iphone 8 plus and everything you can see it right here that's all for this video if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself